How Rocket Learned to Read by Tad Hills, creator of the New York Times bestselling Duck and Goose. Rocket loved to play. He loved to chase leaves and chew sticks. He loved to listen to the birds sing. Every fall morning, after chasing leaves, Rocket would lie down in his favorite spot under his favorite tree. There, he'd sniff the neighborhood smells and settle in for a good nap. But one day, a little yellow bird startled Rocket. Aha, my first student, wonderful, she sang. Rocket was confused. Student, I'm not a, but if I am your teacher, the bird interrupted, then you must be my student. Rocket found it hard to argue with this bird. I am so glad you saw my sign, the bird chirped. Oh, yes, I can see it, Rocket said, but I don't know how to read. Can't read? Fantastic! She waved a wing. Welcome to my classroom. But I just came here to nap, Rocket said. No, no, there will be no napping in class, declared the bird, except... Of course, during nap time. Well then, I can take a nap over here, said Rocket. I've had a very busy morning. Not to worry, I'll be around every day, chirped the bird, until the weather turns. As Rocket breathed in the crisp air, the little yellow bird hung her banner. Ah, the wondrous, mighty, gorgeous alphabet, she marveled, where it all begins. Opening up a book, the bird began, began to read. She sang out the story of an unlucky dog named Buster who'd lost his favorite bone. A cool breeze carried her lively voice across the yard. At first, Rocket was disturbed. But before long, he found himself captivated. To Rocket, the story was as delicious as the earthy smells of the fall. It was as exciting as chasing leaves. He closed his eyes and listened to every word. As Buster dug and dug under the lilac bush, the bird read, he felt something familiar. Rocket waited. What's it, the bone? He wondered. Silence. Was it the bone? He called to the bird. More silence. Was it the bone? Rocket hollered. Suddenly, he was rushing to the tree. Well, was it? But the little yellow bird was gone. The next morning, Rocket arrived early. At last, the little yellow bird appeared. Hello, how wonder wonderful to see you in class, she chirped. I can tell by your sh waggy tail that you are well rested. I'd like to hear the end of the story, please, said Rocket. That seems like a fine way to start the day, chirped the bird. 
she gave Rocket a name tag and began to read. Every day, Rocket returned to the little yellow bird's classroom. In the morning, the bird taught him a new letter until he had learned all of the wondrous, mighty, gorgeous alphabet. Together, they sang out the sounds that each letter makes and spells the sounds they heard around them. With a G and many R's, they spelled Mr. Barker's growl. Grrr. They spelled the sound of the wind, which was growing colder by the day. Soon they were spelling worlds like fall for the gusty time of year and red for the color of leaves. And each afternoon, the bird read a story. She read stories about dogs and birds. She read about leaves changing colors and about birds flying south for the winter. Then one day, the weather turned and the letter banner disappeared. See you again in the glorious spring, the bird sang. As she flew into the wintry sky, she called. Don't forget words are built one letter at a time. The days grew shorter and leaves fell from the trees. The grass became crunchy. Soon Rocket's classroom disappeared under the snow. He remembered the little yellow bird's alphabet and practiced his, practiced his letters. Rocket thought about the bird's sweet chirp while he sounded out words like dig and wind and cold, sun, melt. He made new friends and spelled their names. Hello, Emma. Hi there, Fred. He spelled everything. When Rocket spelled mud, he knew that spring, as it always does, had returned. The breeze blew warmer, the grass grew greener, and a sign appeared. Early the next morning, Rocket rushed to his classroom. As he waited, he spelled wag. Soon, the little yellow bird arrived. Aha, my star student, she sang. How wonderful to see you. I can tell by your waggy tail that you are ready for class. Then, together, they began to read. They read stories about birds flying north in the spring. They read about picnics in the warm sun. And they read about Buster, the lucky dog who found his bone under the lilac bush. And they were, when they were done, they read it again, and again, and again. The End